Hello, and welcome to the first in a series of tutorials on iPad accessibility features. In this tutorial, we are going to cover VoiceOver. VoiceOver describes aloud what appears on the screen, so you can use the iPad without actually seeing it. This is a great feature for visually impaired students, or even ELL students who might struggle with the English language. What you need to do is click on Settings. Then click on General. Go down to Accessibility and turn VoiceOver on. VoiceOver on. Landscape. Now you have right a to the right. Settings. You have a variety of options. If you want to, for example, hear what is available to you on the screen, you can flick up with two fingers to the top. Settings. Heading. Accessibility. Back button. VoiceOver. Heading. Airplane mode. Off. Wi-Fi. Cambridge. Button. Notifications. If you'd like to Notice start from the services. bottom, take on. two fingers button. and just flick right. down. Windows and wallpaper. Button. Picture frame. Button. Select to activate the selected item. Double tap to select an item. To select an item. Touch it. To activate the selected item. Double tap. To scroll. To select an item. Touch it. All right. So let's give it a try. I'm going to Smith switcher. go to Safari. Safari. To do double that, tap to open. I double tap. Safari. Web page loaded. Reader available. Now I have the web page available. If I want to again hear everything that is on the screen, I can take my two fingers and flick up. Back button. Forward. Dimmed button. Bookmarks button. Utilities button. Address HTTP slash slash www.b21.org. The handy feature is the reader button, which is always available, but I can click on reader now. Reader button. Reader. Framework for 21st century learning. Heading level one. The framework and have the website read to me. View of 21st century teaching and learning that combines a discrete focus on 21st century student outcomes, a blending of specific skills, content knowledge, expertise and literacies with innovative support systems to help students master the multi But say this is too fast for your students. Page 21 underscore what you can do is change the Safari. speed. So I'm going to go back to, to settings. Settings. Double. Settings. Now, to change the speaking rate when you're in voiceover, speaking if I'm on that element, adjustable. you flick so up adjust with volume. one finger to increase and flick down with one finger to decrease. 19%, 9%. Let's try that out now. Dismiss app switcher. Safari. Double tap to open. Safari. Framework for 21st century learning. Heading level one. The framework presents a holistic view of 21st century teaching and learning that combines a discrete focus on 21st century student outcomes, a blending of specific skills, content knowledge, expertise and literacies, with innovative support systems to help students master the multi-dimensional abilities required of them in the 21st century. And that's a basic tutorial on VoiceOver. There are many more features in VoiceOver um, and they're fully described in Apple's Accessibility Guide, which is available on their website. I do encourage you, especially special education teachers, to download that resource and make it available to students.